and welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts today for the last day of the quarter. It's the 31st of March 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you on what's happening in markets today. And if we look at what happened in the US overnight, it was a choppy session, but we ended positively across all the major indices. After softer GDP and jobs data, now it was one of those cases where bad news equals good news. Obviously, this says to the Fed that you better not be too aggressive going forward. There is one more interest rate hike planned for 2023, but that made markets feel okay in terms of that is not likely to change on the back of this data. The Nasdaq hit seven month highs, the S&P 500 is comfortably through that key level of 4,000, which we've referenced before. We do have some key data out tonight of the US. US futures are mildly positive in early Asian trading and Asian indices are following that positive US lead with the ASX up around 0.6%. European equity futures are also pointed to a mildly higher open than the VIX, confirming that market calming after what's been a tumultuous couple of weeks or so with all the bank issues going on, that is lower and below 22 support. The US dollar index dropped again on the back of that data to hit eight week lows. Consequently, gold moved higher in May test 2000. It's looking pretty close right now. Copper is trading near the top of its short term range and oil was positive as well and testing resistance once again all commodities did well on the back of that usd weakness bitcoin however has pulled back from resistance to stay within the short term range around about twenty-eight thousand. and as i've suggested it's a busy day today ahead we had japanese data out already the cpi was quite hot but also the industrial production numbers and retail sales were positive chinese pmi data also came out better than expected particularly on the service PMI side. Later on, we've got German retail sales and jobs, Eurozone CPI and jobs, Canadian and UK GDP. So all of those are quite important and will impact local currencies. And of course, that US year on year PCE data, which is one of the Fed's favorite pieces of information, will give the markets plenty to digest. Expect some significant market movements as a result of that, as well as possibly some institutional repositioning with it being end of quarter. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. A US yen is rather bouncy today. You can see it made its way up to this R2 pivot at 133.35. Rejected a move over that and has moved down significantly since then over the last couple of hours. So it looks as though it, it is resistant to moving much higher than, than we are right now. If we just take off the pivot calculator and have a look at the daily chart, you can see why this level is important. It's bang smack on the 200. EMA just around about 133.50. That's a key level on this. Would suggest that possibly this is going to be range bound until that PCE data comes out later. On the ASX, uh, Umedia is worth a look at in the media communication space. You can see we've been trading in the range really since the beginning of February with 163 as resistance there. It's failed to close over that. Uh, and if it should breach that, then if we look at a weekly chart just to see where it could go next, then possibly around about this 170, 175 level could be interesting. If it gets up to 175 from current price, that would be a very healthy 6% return. So one possibly to keep an eye on. Got a little bit of work to do before there's a clear setup, but one worth keeping on the radar for a breach of 165. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.